baby, it's not too late to learn how to love and forget how to hate. Unless you're a prep. Chapter 32, welcome back to my living hellscape. I mean, my immortal. <laughs> if you missed the previous parts, them links down in the description for your perusal. We got 13 parts to go. I'm gonna see if I can plow through it today, but I, <laughs> I just don't know. I think it's only gonna get more unhinged. I guess we'll have to see. <laughs> Chapter 32, author's note. I said, stoop f flamin. I know his nam isn't Tom Bodil. That was a mistake. If you do not lick this story, then you can go screw yourself. One, 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 one. You suck. One, 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 one. All right, here we go again. Hi, I said flirtily to Tom Bombadil. Oh no, it was young Voldemort. There was like some time traveling thing. It's all coming back to me now. Isn't that unfortunate? <laughs> I'm Enemy Way, the new student. I shock my pale hands with their black noil polish with him. <laughs> uh, uh, my name's Tom, he said, but you can call me Satan. Uh, that's my middle name. <laughs> uh, look at me, Morty. I'm Voldemort. <laughs> Uh, if you want to take this story off the rails, I can take it off the rails too, okay? <laughs> uh, we shock hands. Well, come on, we have to go upstairs, Satan said. I followed him. <laughs> uh, I really should just change it from line to line. The author doesn't have any interest in notating who's talking sometimes, so why not me? Hey, Satan, do you happen to be a fan of Grande? Sins MCR and Evine Sins don't exist yet, then. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Uh, this story does push back, you know? I'm trying to wrestle it to the ground and make it submit, and it's just like, you can't do that yet, then. <laughs> I asked, Oh my God, how did you know? Satan gasped. Actually, I like GC a lot, too. Whoa, Morty, I pulled a rick. <laughs> Get it? Because GC did that song, I Just Want to Live, that's Oonded Really 80s. I wish it was the 80s again, man. We could just have easy access to cocaine. We, we would fly through this story. You never really felt like you were truly reading a story before. <laughs> OMG, me too, I replied happily. Hey, guess what? They're having a concert in Hogsment, Satan whispered. Hogsment? I asked. Yeah, that's what they used to call it in these times before it became Hogsmeade in 2000. He told me this all, all secretively. <laughs> and this really cool shop called Hot Topic, I finished. Happy again. When did you stop being happy? Because you didn't already infer the thing about Hogsment? He frowned confusedly. <laughs> yeah, it's called Hot Issue. He smiled skirtly again. <laughs> skirt. <laughs> skirt. Yeah, yeah. Skirt. Skirt. Uh, then, in 1998, they changed it to Hot Topic. He moaned. Uh, <laughs> so good. <laughs> uh, oh. Now everything was making sense for me. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> so is Dumbledore your prince pill? I shouted. <laughs> prince pill. <laughs> uh, oh. I know I'm focusing on the typo when I should be focusing on like, hey, how does Voldemort know the future? I don't know, man. He time traveled too, dude. <laughs> okay. Just everybody has that power now. So yes, tell me about Dumbledore the Prince Pill. <laughs> uh huh. He looked at his black nails. I'm in Slytherin. <laughs> Somehow I do think Cartman Mort would be in Slytherin, wouldn't he? <laughs> Omfg, me too. I shried kid. <laughs> shried kid. 
Uh, you get any ski? Get it? Cause I'm gothic. It says skull, but Cartman just says ski can of weed. <coughs> yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm new. I smelled happily. <laughs> uh, it's okay, Cartman makes friends quick. Don't worry about it. Suddenly, Dumbledore flew in on his broomstuck <laughs> and started shredding at us angrily. Like he whipped out an air guitar, he's just like, whoa, check it out, kids. <laughs> uh, no talking in the halls. He had short blonde hair and still talked like an old man. And he was wearing a polo shirt uh, from American Ogle Outfitters. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid goffs! <laughs> uh, I knew it, dude. Dumbledore's been a poser this whole time. You can't trick me by dyeing your hair black. You also have to wear the clothes and ostracize anybody who doesn't think exactly how you think. <laughs> Satan rolled his eyes. He's so mean to us girls and pugs just because we're in Slytherin and we're not brabs! Mem! Mem! <laughs> uh, I told you, man, I'm taking off the rails too. I don't care no more! <laughs> uh, I turn around angrily. Actually, I think maybe it's because you're the Barky Lord. <laughs> uh, what the hell? He asked angrily. Oh no, Pirate Mort has arrived. <laughs> uh, oh, nothing, I said sweetly. Then, suddenly, in the floor opens. OMFG, no! I schemed as I feel down. Everyone looked at me weirdly. She said all of that out loud. That's all <laughs> within the quotes. <laughs> uh, that's a lot to say as you fall into your doom. But I guess you got some time before you reach terminal velocity. <laughs> uh, hey, where are you going? Satan asked as I fell. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm going down. <laughs> I got out of the hole and it was back in the pensive in Professor Trevalry's classroom. Dumbly Dum was there. <laughs> uh, Dumbledore, I think I just met you, I said. Oh yeah, I remember that, Dumbledore said, trying to be all gothic. That's right, Dumbly Dumb, but we all know you're a proser. <laughs> uh, oh, really? He writes beautiful poetry. You should hear it. Dan Sinister came in. Hey, this is my classroom. Wait, WTF enemy? What the hell are you doing? Um, I looked at her. <laughs> it's just a hole in there for no reason. Sure, why not? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What the hell? How? I screamed, forgetting she was a teacher for a second, but she's a goth, so it's okay. That's right, we disrespect others, but there's no one we disrespect more than ourselves. I don't even care, I'm gonna go slip my wrist. That's how little I value my own life, okay? Why would I care about you? Whatever. I don't even know who's talking right now, so just... Okay, <laughs> we just keep all rolling. Professor Sinister looked sad. Um, I was drinking Voldemort serum. That's how he turns himself into Voldemort, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> then she started to cry black tears of depression. <laughs> uh, just like physical depression, you can, you can bottle this stuff? I mean, I think the world does have an overabundance, but... We can find a market for it, right? <laughs> Dumbly Dumb didn't know about them. The black tears, I assume. Hey, are you crying tears of blood? He asked curiously, touching a tear. <laughs> uh, now he's depressed too. Now you can be a goth, but only if you dress and think like us. Fuck off, we both said, and Dumbly Dumb took his hand away. Are you calling Dumbly Dumb on purpose? <laughs> uh, I think she thinks that it's an insult of some sort. It might be a legitimate typo still. 
I, I have no idea. <laughs> My friend says her sinister started crying in her chair, sobbing limpid tears. I don't even remember what the voice was. <laughs> OMFG, enemy. I think I'm addicted to Voldemort serum. Drugs are bad, okay. <laughs> Author's note. See? You fucking preps. Go fuck yourselves. That's Cirrus issues. To go to hell. One, 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 two. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is super Cirrus. We're getting the after school don't do drugs special within my immortal. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know how to process this. Uh, okay, chapter 33. Author's note again. I said shut up. It's not my fault if you don't lick the story, then you're a prev. So fuck you, flamers. 111. P.S. I'm not updating up till you give me Fiv God reviews. In this, Tim, I meant it. One, one, one. <laughs> uh, I think I'm getting better at this. I just put my head down for the author's note. I'm like, barrel through. It's fine. You suck. One, one, one. Fangs Raven for die help. Ill promise to help you with your story. Lols one. Oh, oh man. <laughs> uh, how many chapters have we done so far? What do you mean we've only done one? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what is this? We're stuck in a zone of existing and non-existence where time becomes a loop. 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 I can go off the rails more than you, Enemy, okay? Uh, don't challenge me on this. <laughs> All right, uh, oh my fucking god, I shooted sadly. Should we get you to St. Manga's, bitch? <laughs> uh, I like St. Mango's better. The neckbeards are gonna hear St. Manga's and just mob the doors. Uh, Hell no, she said. Listen, Egogi, I need your help. <laughs> Egogi. Uh, sometimes it's just a spelling mistake that's so egregious. I can't help but just stop and, and stand in awe of it. <laughs> Next, Tim, you go back in Tim. Do you think you caught ask Tom Anderson for some help? Who the hell is Tom Anderson? My brain wants to rationalize it and be like, you're supposed to know this character. Surely they were mentioned before. <laughs> but no, I think this is the introduction. Sure, I said sadly, and I went outside the door. Draco was there. He was wearing a big black GC t-shirt, which was his Panama. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she said all of that out loud. <laughs> there was no end to the quotes. <laughs> uh, Panamas are real comfy and easy to wear, though. That's true. Hey, sexy, I said. How'd it go, Enneby? He asked. In his voice was so sexy and low, kind of like Gerard Way when he's talking. <laughs> uh, it's been established that you like that singer, actor, whatever he's supposed to be. Fine, I responded. We stared to go back into the dorm. How far did you go with Satan? Draco asked jealously. Oh, it's really starting to heat up. We're having a little lover's quarrel now, aren't we? Take a shot when enemy runs away, okay? The Red X Industries lawyer said that I couldn't make the drinking game as hard as it was last time around. So this time, we're only having one drink in the whole episode. There it was. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, oh, no, wait. She didn't run away yet. God damn it, dude. My brain really is just falling apart. <laughs> Not too far, lol, I borked. Bork? <laughs> uh, like the, the Muppet Show, the, the Swedish chef? Will you have to do it with him? Draco asked angstily. Does he ever ask anything not angstily? Isn't that like a core tenant of being gothic? <laughs> I hope not too far. 
I shouted angrily. Dan, I felt bad for shooting at him. I said, sorry, and we Frenched. <laughs> uh, perfect, wonderful. What a story arc. <laughs> uh, what happened to Snipe? I growled. You will see, Draco giggled mistressly. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he is kind of your mistress, because, like, Tom Bombadil, Voldemort, Cartman Mort, <laughs> whoever he's supposed to be, Satan. That's your main dude now, right? Draco just the side chick. <laughs> uh, he opened a door. Snap and Lumpkin were there. <laughs> uh, hey, you, get off of my property. I'm so excited to see Lumpkin back again, man. <laughs> Sirius was pokering them by staging them with a black niff. Oh my god, this story is so full of twists and turns. Who could have seen it coming? <laughs> uh, literally nobody, because there's nothing coherent happening. <laughs> uh, no, please! Lumpkin bagged as Sirius started to suck his blood. I laughed statistically. <laughs> uh, okay, what percentage of laughing did you do? I talked some photons of him and snap bing torqued. <laughs> uh, none of these words make sense. You definitely make it words and, and putting them together. And that's about the most that I can say for it. <laughs> okay, I know this is men, but think about it. People, they are pedos, and Snap trid to rap them, and anyway, say this is rock, has anyone seen Shrek Attack 3, lols? <laughs> Shrek Attack? <laughs> uh, is Shrek in here right now? Do the roar! Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me! <laughs> uh... We took some of Snipe's blood den. Draco and I went back to our rooms. We sat on my gothic black coffin. My clothes were kind of dritty. <laughs> so I pot on. Oh, here we go again. A black leather outfit thingy. <laughs> thingy. <laughs> uh, okay. Kinda like the one Sweeleen has in Undry World. If you haven't heard of it, then fook you, 111. Isn't that like vampires versus werewolves or something? Sparkle vampire days were simpler times, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I put on some black platform high heels. Darko put on Desolition Livers by MCR. Dan? Dramatic pause. We started to take off each other's clothes as. <laughs> uh, great. That's the part I was waiting for. I talk off his shit and he had a six pack. Lol. <laughs> uh, we started to mac out lick in the grudge. That's not the part of the grudge that I remember, but okay. <laughs> He pot his wetness in my, you know what, sexily. I got an orgy. <laughs> uh, please, <laughs> just pack it in. Don't even try anymore. Is anybody getting hot from this besides the OP? <laughs> Oh, Draco! One, 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 one. Oh, me fucking good, Draco! One, one, one. <laughs> I screamed passively as he got an eructation. <laughs> uh, surely that's not a word, is it? It is! It means a, a belt. <laughs> uh, I love you, Ta Ebery. <laughs> he whispered sexily, and then we fell asp sleep. Uh, lol. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I didn't know gothic love could be this deep. Even if he doesn't know your name, he called you Ta'ebery. 
<laughs> but okay, sure. Chapter 34. Author's note. Shot D fuck up preps. One, 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 one. Have you even read this story, one, one? <laughs> yeah, I did, unfortunately. <laughs> I have some constructive criticisms for you, if you're open to feedback. <laughs> you are probably all just preps and posers, so fuck you, 111. Thanks to Raven for the help, one. Do you think Raven actually exists? <laughs> Do you think this is some sort of schizophrenic episode that we're all gathering around to laugh at? I need to process this somehow. Otherwise, they're definitely gonna suck me into their delusion. Okay, I woke up in the coffin the next day. Draco was gone. Oh my god, I thought this was true love, but he totally left or whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of what happens. Didn't even make your breakfast, just booked it out of the dorm room. I got up and put on a black tight sexy durs. That was all ripped at the end. There was red corset stuff going up the front and back, and it came up to my knees. Red corset stuff? You mean lace? <laughs> <laughs> there was a slit in the dress licking Mr. and Mrs. Simph. That's not a very gothic movie, is it? <laughs> I pot on ripped black fishnets and black stilton bow oats. Boots? Boots! <laughs> How do you want me to read that? What was your intention with, with the, the dash in the middle of this word? <laughs> just a typo. Just a typo. But is anything in this story really just a typo? Hmm. Suddenly, Sorius cocked on the door. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I do that one too, to exert dominance. <laughs> uh, before I enter someone's home, just dum dum dum. <laughs> My door cock. I hoping it. <laughs> uh, is that when you're like wishing for who's gonna be on the other side? I hope it's Draco. I'm gonna hope in the door. <laughs> Uh, I'm just looking way too deep. This is fine, you know? Dive in with both feet, you know? Hi, Ebony, he said. Gaze what? You have to come to Professor Sinistor's office. Okay, I said in a depressed voice. I had wanted to fook Draco or maybe lessen to MCR or Evanescence. I came anyway. Wait, but I thought Draco left. Was he coming back? Did he come back? Did we miss that part? I'm gonna go listen to MCR after this video. I'll be honest with you, since I started My Immortal, I started listening to like lots of emo bands. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco, brand new, My Chemical Romance. Oh no, I see what's happening to me. And pretty soon we can't hang out anymore because you guys are all preps, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I love you. So, what the fuck happened to Snipe and Lupin? I asked Sorius flirtily. Flirtily is how Ebony says basically half the things in this fanfic, right? And then she acts surprised when she cheats on her boyfriend accidentally. <laughs> it's not my fault. I fucking tortured them, he answered in a statistic way. Oh my god, how many percents did you torture them? <laughs> not a hundred. Now we're gonna have to get a coffin! Just make sure it's black with red corset stuff on the inside. <laughs> uh, they are an Abkhazian now. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> uh, yeah, where the jailers are all Dimitris. <laughs> uh, they fly around and suck the soup out of your body. <laughs> uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> I laughed evilly. Ha ha ha. Where are Draco and Vampira? I muttered. They are excused from school today. Sodomized moan sexually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
Uh, why? <laughs> I guess spell check was like, yeah, you good to go. I know what that word is. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, right now, they are watching the Nightmare before Xmas. Oh my God, that movie is so goth. It'll convert anybody. Sit a prep down in front of Nitma before Xmas and be like, what's this? What's this? There's goth stuff everywhere. There's bats inside my hair. <laughs> uh, I, told, I like my immortal because I can just get really weird with it. I get super weird in order to keep pace with this author. <laughs> We went into the office. Professor Sinister was there. She was wearing a gothic black dress that was all ripped all over. Kinda licked the one Amy Lee wears in this pic. HTTP, she was drinking some Voxamort serum. <laughs> you really rused me with the link. Do you think there was a link at some point? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Uh, you're just really screwing with me on purpose right now, aren't you? See, I turn up the heat. This author turns up the heat right back. She doesn't know that we're competing, but we are. And I'm totally gonna win. She took out the pensive and the time torner. Enemy, you will have a noser session now. <laughs> She's Russian. A noser session. <laughs> also... I need you to get me the cure for being adequated, she said sadly. Good luck, fangs. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that delicious Voxaboard serum. Now with 10% more heroin and 25% more cannabis sativa. Honestly, I hope they put Voxaboard serum on the public market, bro. <laughs> uh, and then I jumped into the Princive again. Suddenly, I looked around. I was in the Great Hall, eating Count Chorcula. Because <laughs> uh, that's all gods eat. That's all my mom buys. She doesn't care. That's why I grew up like this. It was morning with a U. That's very gothic. Get it? <laughs> I was sitting next to Satan. On the table was a tall, gothic man with long black hair, pale skin, and blue eyes, wearing a suit and black Cronvress shoes. He looked just like Charlin Manson. <laughs> I noticed he was drinking a portent. <laughs> there was so much to unpack there. <laughs> uh, like I said, I just kind of put my head down and barreled through it. <laughs> uh, not my favorite misspelling of Marlon Mason, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm pretty sure the, the portent is supposed to be a potion, but even using the word portent uh, might be a portent, which according to Oxford Dictionary is a sign or warning that something, especially something momentous or calamitous is likely to happen. I'm pretty sure this is just a, a trail of breadcrumbs being left by an author who's playing like 18D chess. Surely it will be momentous, so tell me, I'm on the edge of my seat. What happens next? Who's he? I asked. Oh, that's Professor Slutborn, Satan said. He's the poor tense teacher. H Ebony? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, yes. Professor Slutborn helping Volpatort make the whore cruises. <laughs> uh, you should tell me more about this character. For science! Yeah? I asked. Hey, did you know that Marilyn Mason is, is playing in Hogs He Made tonight? <laughs> and they're showing the exercise at the movies before that. Don't forget to bring a towel! <laughs> Uh, Jesus Christ, you're the worst character ever, Towley. I know. <laughs> uh, but instead, OP just says, Yeah? Well, I wanna go to the contort and the movie with me, but first I'm gonna just get a little high. <laughs> He's not gonna show up. <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Uh, there is no answer. We get chapter 35, Ghost of You. Oh my god, it's gonna be so deep, heart-rending, and tragic. 
I'm going to cry limpid tears. Author's note. Thanks to Susie for the idea. You rock. Fuck up, preps. One, 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 one. <laughs> Thanks to Raven for die help. You rock, girl. One. P.S. I'm gong to end destroy really sun. So fuck you, one, one, one. Oh, yeah. And if you know any gothic nams, please tell me because I ned one for serious. One fangs. Holy shit, man. <laughs> I guess we're, we're still going, ain't we? I took a good couple of weeks to recover from the last one. And while I do feel myself holding up a bit better, it's still really rough, man. <laughs> so, I went into the con men room thinking of Satan. Suddenly, I gasped. Draco was there, 111. <laughs> the con men room. <laughs> That's uh, where this whole story belongs. I've been conned into reading it. I grasped. He locked as hot as ever, wearing black leather pants, a black Lonkin Prack t shirt, and black eyeliner. Lonkin <laughs> uh, Prack. <laughs> Can we cut in Lonk? Show me a Lonk picture, Elijah. Draco! What the fuck are you dong? One one one. I gasped. <laughs> uh, what are you dong? <laughs> are good. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can take much more. Huh? He asked. Then I remembered. It wasn't Draco. It was Lucan. He still had two arms. Who the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> Please stop. Uh, I don't know what we're talking about. Why would he not have two arms? <laughs> uh, oh, hi, Lucian, I said. I'm Ebony, the new student. Lol, we shook hands. And she again said all of that <laughs> out loud. <laughs> uh, she's just narrating herself said Red X hilariously as he sat down to record yet another amazing Red X video. There probably should be more typos in there, but I don't know. I feel my brain melting. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and melt it down completely. Why not? Yes, Satan told me Abbott you, Lucian said. He pointed to a group of sexy gothic guys. They were siding in a corner, cutting. Yeah, you're just allowed to do that in the middle of the school? Okay. Different times, I guess. <laughs> Maybe, right? I remember that part. It was serious. Vampire's dad and Snap. All of them were wearing black eyeliner and good Shralut band shirts. Listen, I'm in a goth band with those guys, he said. We're playing tonight at the Mary Lynn Mason show as backup. Oh, really? I asked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. I'm sure your band was awesome. That's why it didn't make it to the modern day. Yeah, he said. We're called X Black X Tier X. <laughs> uh, I play the gutter. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll buy that. Why not? Spartacus plays the drums. He said, pointing to him. Snap plays the boss. And James plays the guitar. Even though we call him Samaro. After Samara in the ring. <laughs> uh, Samaro! <laughs> uh, okay. You win, my immortal. <laughs> you win. <laughs> I can't outpace this level of insanity, okay? Again, yet again, I've been beaten into submission by this goddamn story. Uh, hey, bastards, I told them. They gave me death's touch sin. Dude, there's that phrase again. What does it mean? And why does it keep being mentioned? It's gonna come into play later. It's a portend of things to come. <laughs> Uh, suddenly, I gasped again. But, don't you have a lead singer? I asked. 
Lucian looked Dawn sadly. <laughs> we oozed to, but she did. She contemplated suicide by silting her wrists. <laughs> Serious issues, man. Serious times, okay? <laughs> oh, oh my fucking god, 1-1. One, one. That's so fucking sad, 1. I gasped. Yes, surely all of this is not hinting or building towards anything. It'll be like, yep, we'll keep on looking. <laughs> oh, she's the Mary Sue. Of course she's the new lead singer, right? It's okay, but we need a new lead sninger, Samaro said. <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a word in there that I think YouTube's gonna misinterpret. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> well, I said I'm in a bnad myself. Again, you <laughs> you narrated all of that, I said. His room was beginning to get quite hot. He was sweaty and hot under the collar. Not just from frustration, but from the hot adult scenes in My Immortal. And then we frenched. <laughs> just put me in a gutter, you know? <laughs> I think I'm done now. Uh... Really? Asked Snap. I couldn't be live it. He used to be gothic, 111. Oh my god, stop the presses. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were called Bloaty Gothic Rose 666. Do you want to hear me sing? Yeah, said everyone, so the guys took out their guitars. They began to pay a song by, get it? Because bye guys are so sexy, 11. Gurn Day. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I just, I don't know how to unpack this. We're just making up bands at this point. And I don't mean Gurn Day. I was a big fan of Gurn Day about a decade ago. <laughs> uh, I just mean this bloody gothic rose and X black tear X. <laughs> uh, why have we not heard anything of them before? Or did my mind do me the mercy of trying to block it out? I'm sorry, mind. I don't know why I continue to hurt you. <laughs> this is not my intention. So is Tom Bombadil, Satan Cartman, Towley Mort in the band? Or, or we just lost that, that plot thread. I want this um, strat on the bull red of Brock and Drems. <laughs> I sang sexily. I did not own the lyrics to that song. Everyone gasped. No, you did a great job. That's that's the only line we needed. You're hired for this free gig that won't go anywhere. <laughs> and not B, will you join the band? Please, begged Lucian, Samaro, Sirius, and Snap. Um, okay, I shrugged. <sighs> Are we gong to play tonight? Yeah, they said. That's right, you don't need any practice. She's a natural! Don't worry about it! <laughs> okay, I said, but I knew that I had to get a new outfit. Oh boy. It's been a while since we described an outfit, hasn't it? I walked outside, wondering how I could go forward in time. I mean, you're constantly going forward in time, aren't you? <laughs> now you're making this get way too deep. Ebony, listen, you, you are never not going forward in time. You want to go forward in time faster. And that's what magic and wormholes are for. <laughs> uh, suddenly, someone jumped in front of me. It was Morty McFlee. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Uh... <laughs> I can't even make words! Uh, holy shit, man. Yes, what a- What good timing, Morty. Uh, he was wearing a black banad t-shirt and black baggy jeans. What the hell are you dong here, one one? I asked. Uh, oh, I'll help you go for a wad and Tim, Annaby! He said, seriously, Dan, he took out a black Tim machine. 
<laughs> this is this is Rick and Morty through and through. You think it's Morty McFlee, but that's only because this show hasn't been aired and canceled quite yet. I went into it and suddenly I was forward in Tim. I don't know if that's actually what the, the Tim machine is for, and it be... <laughs> Doesn't it just make like Xerox copies of this one guy named Tim? Except in Morty World, we call him Mr. Meeseeks. I can't take it anymore! I just wanna die! We all wanna die! We're Meeseeks! I probably got one more chapter in me. One more chapter in me! <laughs> and then it's official, I, I need to go lie down or something. Wrap myself in a Snuggie and drink a nice cocoa! Speaking of which, this episode sponsored by Red X Industries and viewers like you. You thought I was going to say Snuggy, but nothing here is coherent, okay? Seriously, I do want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. As always, let me remind you that one of your dollars is about five of mine, so go ahead and extrapolate that and hit the thanks button at the bottom if you really enjoy the video. Maybe subscribe too if you haven't yet. I don't know why you wouldn't have. Anyways, chapter 36. We can do this. Author's note, I said stop flaming. Okay, one, 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 one. Wow, this is the first time she spelled it correctly. Maybe we're really getting somewhere. <laughs> I bet you are all probably old 70 year olds, one, one, one. P.S. Porter Sue's you're a prep, one. Oh yeah, and thanks to Raven for thy help, one, one, one. Have fun in England, girl, one, 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 one. Porter Suz who? What are you talking about? This series does make me feel like I'm 70 years old, though. <laughs> uh, I don't think anything on the channel has aged me faster. I locked around in a depressed way. Suddenly, I saw Professor Sinister, Boo Lodi Mary, Socrates. <laughs> Socrates. Uh, Socrates, what are you doing here? <laughs> uh, I guess Morty McFlee picked him up on the way back. <laughs> I'm so done, dude. <laughs> And there was Draco and Vampire and Willow were there too. Yeah, just like the Wizard of Oz, right? And you, and you, and you, and you were there. OMFG, Sorius, I saw you and Samuro and Snip and everyone, one, 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 one. I can't believe Snap used to be gothic, one, 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 one. Sorius, is that Socrates? <laughs> Samuro. Uh, I don't know if Socrates is a misspelling of Sorius or Samuro. Or Snip. She's addressing people that aren't even in the room. <laughs> uh, I, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I hate this. Uh, yeah, I know, Sirius said sadly. Can we keep calling him Socrates? I like that. <laughs> Oh, hey there, bitch, Professor Travalri said in an emo voice, Dirking some Volksimot serum. <laughs> uh, she's really thirsty. She just always has it with her. She's slurping on it like a Capri Sun. <laughs> uh, hey, Fooker, I said. Listen, Satan asked me to go to a gothic coronet. And a movie, so I need a sexy new outfit for the date. Also, I'm playing in a gothic band, so I need an outfit for that too. She turned Canadian for just a second. <laughs> uh, hey, let me borrow your outfit there, eh? <laughs> oh my Satan! Get it? Lols, cause she's gothic. <sighs> yeah, yeah, we get it. <laughs> Gasp, Bloody Mary. Want to go to Hot Topic to shop for your outfit? OMFG, let's have a group cutting session. <laughs> uh, said Professor Travolri. <laughs> Are the teachers at the school encouraging self mutilation? Because <laughs> I don't think I can sign off on that. Of all the things that aren't group activities, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't process this. Uh, 
I can't fucking wait for that, but we need to get some stuff first, said Willow. I think that's been her first line in this entire thing. I'm still not even sure who she is. She just sort of showed up. <laughs> yeah, we need some portions for Professor Travalry so she won't be a dickhead to Volksmort serum anymore. And also some love potion for Enneby, Darko said resultantly. Oh, reluctantly, because he doesn't want Enneby to be in love with Tom Bombadil. Morty Towley Mort. <laughs> uh, but apparently he's, he's got the idea for a love potion. Sure! Why not? Everything's fine here! <laughs> Help stop coming. We have to pull ourselves out. <laughs> well, we have potions class now, Willow said. So let's go. Yeah, we gotta go to potions class to make some portions of potions. <laughs> uh, that's what we portend. <laughs> Pretend to portend. <laughs> it's getting really crazy now. Uh, we went sexily to potions class. <laughs> uh, but Snap wasn't there. Instead, there was... Dramatic pause. Cornelio fuck! <laughs> uh, I am the great Cornholio! I need kippy for my bum hole. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Uh, I shouldn't have done one more. My brain is complete mush. Uh, hey, where the fuck is Dumbledore? Draco shouted angrily. STFU! Shooted Cornelia fuck. <laughs> What a great name choice, you know? <laughs> I'm still not sure whether it's a typo. But every time you say the bad word, I start laughing. <laughs> he is an Ascabian now with Snip and Lupin. He is old and weak and has cancer. Now do your work, peasant 111. <laughs> you know what the best cure for cancer is? Leeches. <laughs> uh, my friends and I talked angrily. <laughs> Arr, can you believe Snap used to be gothic? Vampire asked, surprisedly. I think we were all surprised, Enemy. <laughs> That's it, peasants! One one! Cornelio fuck shooted angrily. <laughs> I'm getting Professor Bridge! One, one, one. I don't know who that is either. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to be cowering in fear because context. He stomped out angrily. Me, friends, and I began talking again. I began to drink some blood mixed with beer. Oh my god. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> uh, suddenly, I saw Hargrid in the cupboard. Why? What? <laughs> somebody... Somebody help me grasp this. What the fuck is he doing? I asked. Then I looked at Draco. He was wearing tons of eyeliner. And he locked sexier than ever. Suddenly... Hargrid! What the fuck are you doing, 1-1? One -one? He shooted. <laughs> oh, now we don't like Hagrid... Hargrid anymore? Who knows? Who the hell even cares? <laughs> uh, I looked around. Hairgrid was putting something in my glass of blood, 1-1. One -one. Darko and Vampire started to beat him up. Sexily. <laughs> uh, yeah, like in slow motion and everything. Oh, that's working for me. That's what I'm into, yeah! God, you're such a poser! I shooted at Hairgrid. Suddenly, I looked R what he was putting into blood. It was amnesia portion 111. <laughs> uh, oh my god, who could have seen that coming? Again, literally nobody because this is just a, a, a schizo post. An extended multi hour schizo post, and still you showed up for it. You guys are insane. <laughs> Uh, maybe just as insane as me. That's why we're friends, isn't it? Part of me tells me to keep going, but I'm not gonna do it. 
We did five parts in this one, maybe eight parts in the next one. Uh, maybe I'll do like four and four. You really can't plan it out, you know? You just gotta listen to your heart. This laugh's really on the bat. <laughs> so listen to your heart and like, comment, subscribe on the video. Woo, got him. Also share it around if you should like. Thank you in advance. I got many social medias. You can follow me on those. I did plug the thanks button. Like I said, one dollar of yours, five dollars of mine. Go ahead, extrapolate that. Thank you to my Patreon patrons and YouTube channel members for supporting as well. If you can support, that's huge. If you can't, don't sweat it too hard, friends. I just appreciate you coming on through, hanging out with me. I hope you come on back and hang out with me again tomorrow. In order to do so, keep yourself safe out there. Wash your hands, all right? <laughs> and of course, always remember that you are loved, you are worthy, you definitely, definitely deserve it. And I shall see you in the next one. So until then, friends, bye-bye. Uh, it's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown.